Hello and welcome to this edition of The Week in the Maghreb, a look at news and current affairs across North Africa. Coming up, the legacy of French writer Albert Camus. On the 50th anniversary of his death, he remains a divisive figure in his birthplace, Algeria. A big boost for business as the Moroccan port of Tangier positions itself as a key cargo hub, with companies already cashing in on attractive tax breaks. And reviving Tripoli, Libya pumps badly needed funds into giving the historic centre of its capital city a facelift in the hope that it'll return to its glory days as a top tourist destination. But first, it's now been 50 years since the death of one of the greatest French writers of the 20th century, Albert Camus. Dubbed the Prince of the Absurd, he was the man who many credit with making existentialist philosophy mainstream. He first shot to literary fame with his novel L'Etranger, or The Outsider, and went on to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. Yet people in his country of birth, Algeria, have mixed feelings about him. Many there consider him an outsider because he failed to call for Algerian independence. Here I understand what we call glory, the right to love without measure. Words written by Albert Camus, carved into a pillar in the middle of the ancient Berbero Roman ruins of Tipaza. Camus said Tipaza was inhabited by the gods. But if he came here to reflect with the ancients, it was in Algier that the writer grew up in Belcourt, a poor neighborhood. He lived in this modest house. The new owner is proud to show off the view from the balcony he shares with the great writer. Camus himself admitted to being heavily influenced by his early years. It was in this life of poverty, amongst the humble and the vain, that I most surely touched the sense of real life. Fans of Camus often come to pay homage. They come, they take photos, then thank you and goodbye. I offered to sell the place to the people from the French consulate, then they could make it into a museum dedicated to Albert Camus. They say, OK, and then they don't come back. But there's one sore point in Albert Camus' relationship with the country, his stance on Algerian war. He remained silent while other writers struggled for independence. Camus l'Algérien, moi, c'est une expression que je ne partage pas du tout. Voilà. Parce que I can't say Camus was an Algerian because he wasn't in favor of Algerian independence. Algeria only existed thanks to the blood spilled by its people. I much prefer to call him a French writer from Algeria. Écrivain français d'Algérie, ouais, ça me convient beaucoup plus. Despite that, some still defend Camus' Algerian heritage. Algeria's literary heritage is not only post-colonial. You can say that Saint Augustine is part of Algeria's cultural heritage, and so is the generation of colonial writers like Jean Pellegris, Jacques Derrida, or Albert Camus. It's really up to us to claim them and make them part of this history. That's the fundamental thing. Be it in Tipaza or Alger, Camus was often nostalgic for his country of birth. He wrote, When I am far from this country, I think of its twilight, like the promise of happiness. Next, blacklisted a U.S. decision to increase airport security checks on citizens coming from a series of countries, including Algeria, is not going down well. Algiers has dubbed the move discriminatory. Under the new rules, all citizens from the blacklisted countries will receive a pat-down and an extra check of their carry-on bags before boarding a U.S.-bound plane. While Washington beefed up its list of high-risk countries in response to the attempted Christmas Day bomb attack. 
A cabinet reshuffle in Morocco. The king, Mohammed VI, has ordered the replacement of several key posts with a focus on security, justice and economic development. While well, the king has appointed 60-year-old Supreme Court magistrate Tayeb Chakawi to serve as the new interior minister. The position's key as the interior minister runs the country's security and police system and acts as a close aide to the king. While well, the justice minister was also replaced. A new source of hope for Morocco. Last year, the country inaugurated its Tangier Mayor.